Hello, I'm Julian Bickerstead, the CEO of International Conservation Services, and I'm speaking to you from the ICS labs here in Chatswood in Sydney. I'm standing beside one of the absolute gems of the Neeram collection, Tom Roberts, Mosman Bay, 1894. Our partnership with Neeram is one that we set great store by, it's something we really value and feel so privileged to have this relationship in place. It allows us to provide NIRAM with a range of conservation services and to work through the collection progressively in a programmed way to run workshops in uh, Armadale and also to work on uh, the more complex conservation aspects of these paintings here. So it's with great pleasure that we are donating our services, the skills of our conservators and our time to work on this particular painting particularly because we have a long relationship with it, having worked on this painting since the early 1980s. Painted by Tom Roberts on a, a, on a midsummer's day, so hot you can feel the heat radiating off this exquisite painting. It is one of his most famous works. Uh, it is in any exhibition of Tom Roberts, whether in this country or overseas, uh, it is often lent to that. And, uh, the context of paintings is always very interesting. Some have, in a sense, backstories, and this has a very interesting conservation backstory. In 1983, the painting came to the Regional Galleries Association uh, Conservation Labs, which was run at the time by Catherine Lillico Thompson. Catherine, in due course, became head of paintings here at ICS and led us through a very distinguished period of our growth as a company. Kathy received this and it came in its uh, very exquisite gilt frame uh, with brown paper on the back. She pulled the brown paper off the back to examine it and discovered there was some paint on canvas that appeared to be round the back of the stretcher itself. And when she pulled it out of the frame, she discovered in fact that a whole area, this area here, had been wrapped round the back of the frame. Let's examine in a moment why that might be. So, um, what that period of conservation uh, successfully achieved was, in a sense, a reintegration of the overall painting. And it is a critical bit of the painting because it shows the figure of the oarsman bringing the oars to these ladies here who are waiting uh, for their boat to go out. So, in a sense, this part of the image uh, doesn't really make sense until you see this critical man walking towards them with the oars. Now, why on earth would you wrap part of a painting round the back? Uh, almost certainly because they found a frame that they thought would suit this very well, and they had to make a decision how they were going to fit the painting in, so they thought, well, either we cut it off, can't possibly do that, but alternatively we can wrap it round the back. You might say, why not take that side? Uh, because, in fact, there is less happening on the edge. But, critically down the bottom, you've got Tom Roberts' signature, so that wasn't going to work. So, therefore, they came this side, made the decision to take this, um, whatever it is, about three inches of painting, some very valuable bits of Tom Roberts here wrapped around the back. So, now you see it with that great story. You can still see where, obviously, there was some fracturing of the paintwork and it's been in-painted. Uh, but it is a very interesting story of, once again, the reintegration of uh, this beautiful image back to its original concept. So 37 years after we're revisiting the conservation, on the right hand side of the picture you can see that the materials that were used and the materials of the original painting have aged differently. You can see that there's actually variation in colour and also some of the consolidation and the stabilisation of the paint layer are actually beginning to fail and uh, the paint is beginning to flake again. The first steps will be to give it a surface clean. It's been under glazing and framed and so we're not expecting a great deal of surface dirt. Then we'll stabilise the flaking paint uh, up and down this crack again. The paint in areas is lifting and um, we'll introduce consolidant underneath the, uh, underneath the paint flakes and put them back down. I guess the most noticeable part about this now is the um, the slight variation in colour and we have our, our expert retouchers Matteo Volante uh, who is actually going to retouch all the colours exactly how they were. 
In order to do that, we may actually need to remove all the initial work. And so this is one of the key points about conservation, is that we need to actually be able to undo what we've done 35 or 37 years ago in this case. So that's going to be quite exciting. So it's going to go through a process where the painting is first going to look in worse condition. As we remove all the old work and all the old retouching, we may need to adjust the fills a little bit and adjust the texture. And then uh, Matteo will carefully retouch all of those colours to match the originals again. The paintings team at ICS are really looking forward to working on this beautiful Tom Roberts. If you'd like to follow the progress of conservation with behind the scenes footage, please hit the subscribe button below.